Okay, holograph, easy. Make a monkey. Mm, monkey. Add a warfare modifier, uncheck replace original and set material offset to what? Great, let's shade it. Make it two materials. First one will be for mesh, second one for warframe. Okay, so let's begin with the second one since it's easier. Just give it an emission shader and make it some nice color. Also, be sure to enable bloom and render in Eevee. Yo! Second one's also easy. Turn down the alpha and the blend mode uh, have to be alpha blend. And yeah, give it some emission, also make it make it make it black. But for high poly objects, 50 shades of gray works better. Hey. Alright, also you can import images planes if you have that add-on activated. If don't just do it. And ooh, that's a naughty pick. However, it has no alpha, so let's use the black and white channel as alpha instead. It's inverted! You can use invert node, but color ramp gives you way more control. So I like to use that. Okay, now you can add a noise. If you have no triangle activated, you can hit Ctrl T to bring up these two nodes and in mapping, adjust it a little bit and in mapping, turn up Y scale. Let's also make these little lines. Now add a mix shader and mix in these lines with original image. And then use original image as a factor and add a color ramp there so you can control it a little bit better. Now it's just a matter of playing around with it until it works. Keep in mind that everything white will be preserved and everything black will be gone. So try to get something like this. Now if you use this as a mask, you have these nice little distortion lines on the edges of your picture. Alright, plug this into a mission shader through the color ramp and change white to your desired color. Now add a mix shader and mix into those two shaders. Now again, use the image as a mask through color ramp. This is part I can't really tell you what to do because you get to try out yourself and uh, keep trying until it looks good. Okay, also, you can use a video. What? Like, can you watch Star Wars and hologram in Blender? Well, of course you can. There is nothing impossible in Blender. Having a hard time figuring out the alphas? Put a cube there. Zoom, 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 zoom. Having weird shadows, just change shadow mode to none since we don't want any shadows. Also, stretching out the lower edge and unwrapping it as one line will give you these nice, uh, the liney things there. It's a cool effect, and also you can upgrade it with gradient uh, masking, but that's complicated, so I will make an entire video about it. <laughs> Now it was just a matter of modeling background and, you know, all the good stuff, texturing the hologram itself. Now it's just up to you. Put it on your cyberpunk scene or on your Blackberry phone. Just don't let your friends know that you have anti on phone because they might don't speak to you afterwards. Or even worse, they might do. Also, it's my friend's birthday, so I don't really have a gift for her since she lives on the other side of planet but i thought that this will be a nice gift so happy birthday